my interest in uh, all things Catholic. Uh, um, those elements have showed up in my other films, Mean Streets, Taxi Driver to a certain extent, uh, Raging Bull certainly, and many pictures. Um, but I think I approached it uh, from different ways. Uh, uh, um, the idea of um, um, the tenets or the uh, beliefs of Christianity uh, in the everyday life that we lead. You know. And so ultimately, I was given the Book of Silence in 1988. It was in August, I believe, or September, uh, by Archbishop Paul Moore, who is the uh, Archbishop of um, uh, Episcopal Archbishop of New York, St. John the Divine. He was a supporter of the film I had just made, Last Temptation of Christ, uh, after seeing the film. And so uh, he talked to us about um, a serious discussion about uh, those, those elements in that particular film and those, those arguments, those, those uh, 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 concepts, uh, those questions. And then he said, um, I have a book for you that you should take a look at. Um, uh, it takes the very essence of uh, what you were trying for in, in your, other, your other films and goes, goes deeper. The issue in this particular story, and that should apply to everything we know of today too, and that is the cultural differences, right? Uh, how, how do you deal, how do they deal with the uh, cultural differences of uh, Japan as opposed to Western Europe in the 17th century? Um, uh, they have to understand the culture that they're bringing this gospel, this good news to. They have to understand what the values of the culture are. They have to understand the way people think. The only way to do that is to be with them, know the language, spend time, and then see. Then see. And I think the only way they really, uh, it really could work is if their actions are something which uh, um, uh, the people would want to emulate, how they behave. I think that's the key. And it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't have to do with stepping on a fumier or it, it's how they relate to the people around them and the love and the compassion they bring. That's the key. Rodriguez is uh, somebody who, uh, in a sense, gives up his faith to gain his faith. And that's the paradox. And when we were getting ready to make the picture, I realized that I was trying to create something that had been with me for many years since I was a teenager and when I first wanted to make movies. Uh, and I'd, as I said earlier, I'd studied for the priesthood, uh, didn't make it, uh, realized early on that it wasn't my calling. It's certainly a vocation, but it wasn't mine. Um, it was the calling of someone I had admired, a priest, a neighborhood priest who taught, taught us a lot. I wanted to be like him, but that's not the reason to be a priest. And I had this other calling, I guess, and it was making movies. And I had an idea to make a picture about a priest, actually, many years ago. Uh, a priest who had the calling, but who needed to take that extra step of getting past his ego and his spiritual pride, because it's the parishioners that have to come first, always. And I realized that this was the picture I was making, in a sense, while I was, while I was making it, really, while I was shooting it. Uh, I mean, I touched on this before, Mean Streets and certain other pictures, but, you know, here I was, um, well, 60 years later, dealing with the theme that has been with me since I was so young. So, Rodriguez and, and to a certain extent, Garupe have to get through themselves. They have to get past themselves and their pride. They have to give it up. They have to give up their egos. They have to be selfless. They have to lose the self, right? Both of them have the illusion that they'll be able to to find their own spiritual paths, but of course, um, it's never the case. 